Welcome Sagittarius to the man you awakening. Let's take a look at your person and see what's going on. Spirit, what is the overall energy for this reading for Sagittarius' this person? What is the overall energy for Sagittarius' this person? Thank you. So um, there's this Venus energy here, but it is labeled as business here. So there could be some type of... Mm, we have deprivation here at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be um, undergoing some type of uh, um, hardship in the workplace. This person could be definitely undergoing some type of struggle, um, some type of rough patch as it pertains to uh, stability, so work, housing, Something like that. Let's see what's going on with this person's spirit. What's going on with Sagittarius, this person? Three cards, spirit. Three cards for what's going on for Sagittarius, this person. That was the uh, career card that just tried to show out. So we have past a love, career, see, and then triangle. Okay, so I, I, and then we have travel here at the bottom of the deck. This person could do quite a bit of traveling uh, for their job, or they could have told you that they was doing some traveling for their job. I'm not sure it was necessarily that. Um, I, I feel like that this is something that uh, we're going to be discussing something that possibly did take part in the past. This could have been this. I feel like that something to do with work came in the middle of you guys's connection. What's going on with Sagittarius in that person's spirit? Like in the past, this person chose work. Thank you, Spirit. So we have courthouse. And there's that tool in labor. There's definitely um, something about this person actively choosing um, work. Like this person chose to seek status instead of this connection. What am I looking for now in Spirit? How is this person currently feeling as it pertains to Sagittarius? How does this person currently feel as it pertains to Sagittarius? So we have the Queen of Cups. So this person definitely has a lot of love. Um, I feel like this person is actually, I would say that this person is awakening to this love. Looky here, there goes more work back there. There's some there's some type of I don't know, like if this person put a lot of energy into work, like if this person was a workaholic in the past, um, I feel like that this person may be hitting a dry spat a dry patch at work. Okay, so what is this what is this person's thoughts as it pertains to Sagittarius? What is this person's thoughts? Thank you, Spirit. Um, the seven of staffs, so the seven of wands in the contemplation. So this person's thoughts as it pertains to you, I feel like this person feels like you're very isolated. I'm very guarded, very standoffish. And what actions can Sagittarius expect from this person? What actions can Sagittarius expect? The nine of pentacles. Um, I, f I feel like this person is going to, like, I don't think that there's, the Nine of Pentacles is independent energy. And so the actions that you can expect from this person, I, I would say that it would be some type of, 
like this person may off may make a monetary offer to show you that they I don't know, just a token, like, I see you, I see your patience, or I see that you stuck around, I now see the, the, what I put you through, there may be something like that coming in from this person, it may possibly come in the form of some type of travel, or some type of, you know, um, quality time, but let's dive in and dissect this, because if I'm just being completely honest, I don't... <clears throat> I still feel like that everyone walks away independent. So I don't think the connection comes back together out of this. Let's see. Spirit, what is this Queen of Cups for how this person feels towards Sagittarius? This person definitely has a lot of love towards you. Uh, but they also are acknowledging that there is conflict that this person is trying to un avoid. And it's like they almost feel as if it's unrealistic to avoid it. Definitely a choice that this person is almost like avoiding making. This person is holding back from making a solid choice. They, um, It's like they go back and forth with what they want to do with Sagittarius. Uh, they, uh, with, uh, how they, with how they feel about Sagittarius, whether they should open up about their feelings. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's. This person definitely has this commitment issue. They may have a vision, you know, they may have the vision of what they want. They may know how to take the lead for what they want. But when it comes to them outright expressing anything emotionally, count it out. Count it out. So... Let's see the thoughts of the seven of wands or seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here for their thoughts towards Sagittarius spirit? The page of wands, the temperance card, the seven of cups and the knight of cups to the ten of pentacles. So I do I, I like I, I feel like this person is going to make some type of offer. Um, this person knows that. I do feel like that they see that you're guarded towards them. They feel, they think that you're very guarded um, and distanced towards them. Uh, but they're, they do want to send some type of... I don't know, like, I, I just feel like that whatever message they send, it's going to have a little emotion to it. But it's really more or less so that they can test the water. Still no staying power here. So the actions that Sagittarius can expect from their person is the Nine of Coins. Why is this spirit? Thank you. The Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and then the Knight of Wands. Still no stand power. So this per there's definitely this guarded energy here. Uh, it's like... I, I don't think there's any stay in power. And I almost, if I can just be completely honest, I feel like this person um, comes back around to, um, you know, to wave the white flag. But it, it like just this, the minute that they wave the right white flag, they go rushing back out. So I just don't feel like there's anything sustainable here. I feel like this person is facing some other issues that are external to you really have nothing to do with you so don't try to take that on for you i just feel like this person has an emotional problem like the only time that this person is really good with displaying any emotions is when they're coming to make um uh an offer but they're <clears throat> like to get in the door but the offer that they use to get in the door has no 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 stand power no sustainability to it no longevity what is the advice for sagittarius here spirit what is the advice for sagittarius here 
the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Wands. The advice here is to get out of your head and to really become clear about the things that you're um, cutting away that no longer serve you. Like, you know what victory it is that you want. You're... Um, being told to go towards that and cut out anything that doesn't serve that purpose get out of your head don't overthink it set yourself from this so you set yourself free from this mental entrapment release the things that no longer serve you here So, yeah, your person, I'm not necessarily sure that they had other people or anything like that, but they definitely used work as a third party for you guys. It was definitely work that pulled this person away. And I don't see any, like, as soon as this person, like, they may be in a rough patch at work, but as soon as things pick up and uh, they'll be right back out the door, there's, there's, this isn't the energy that I would like to see while this person does have a lot of love for you. I just feel like that this whirlwind is finally coming to an end so that you can move forward. It says every hurricane comes to an end. And then it says justice is coming. So there's something more balanced for you that is coming in. There is going to be an apology from this person. There's going to be some sort of offer, an olive branch coming from this person. But you really do have to um, cut away the things that no longer serve you. And you have to determine if this is what it if this is what your life wants at this time. Um, I don't see a commitment from this person at this time, Sagittarius. I pray that these messages provided you with some guidance on your journey. If these messages did resonate and you would like to see more of these messages, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. It does help get these messages out to other people in need. And in all that we do and in all that we say moving forward, guys, let's choose peace, love and light.